Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond. Welcome you back to the world of Undertale. In the last episode, we killed Muffet, and she was very insignificant as usual. In this episode, we're going to continue on to the core. In case you're wondering, the core and Hotland count as the same area, even though they change backgrounds, so you don't have to worry about fighting enemies in the core, even though there were enemies that could be found here originally. Uh, wait a minute. I'm getting the... Okay, yeah, this is when that thing happened. Okay. I got this mixed up with, like, the working lab, or the abandoned lab, or whatever. Uh, you could continue on through here? I'm um, just checking. But yeah, the core and hotline count is the same area, so even though you could fight enemies in here, uh, they won't appear. Or, like, it just doesn't count, it doesn't matter, so... Don't have to worry about that, which is nice. Uh, this is gonna be a big waste of time, isn't it? Cool of beans. Save point. Yep, there you go. Nobody came. Even though we're in a technically new area. There's a Glamberger inside the trash can. We take it. Carrying too much. Do I have one with me? I don't, but I don't know how much it heals. Uh, this heals 22 HP. This heals 21 HP. CT's not very good. I'll drink it. Hopefully I won't regret that later. I could buy more though, so that's sort of why I'm going for it. The other trash can had money in it. So we're just gonna keep on going. Uh, 100G, completely pointless, but I'll take it. That's one good thing about the genocide run. Well, I'm, I'm having a lot of good things about the genocide run, actually, but one another good thing is that you don't have to grind for money because you kill everyone. <laughs> oh, what? You're still here. I guess it's a good thing I came through here instead of just... Uh, what the fruit? That was an attack. The gun is interesting. Never used the gun before. Gotta do that. Okay. Skip. Jump. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Get away from the frog. It. I haven't saved. So even though there's the nobody king thing in the previous room, we still have that enemy right there. We're just having the groups. Okay. Uh, merciless and mer. Oh god. 110. Good night. I should have healed. Oh god. Well, I have healing items, it's just that I should have saved, is what I'm trying to say. Get rid of him. Oh god, of course, one more. Somehow I dodged that. Oh, Jesus. Seems like a pretty epic attack, though, uh, for the genocide run. I guess it's our ultimate weapon. A gun, of course, very fitting. Please have low HP. Uh, don't really know, because this thing's just hard to time. And there you go. Uh, yep, one more. I don't know why I didn't heal. Uh, let's see what I can do. Yay, one hit! Uh, just get away from all you things. I don't like you at all. You are really big and jerkish. Uh, got rid of him one shot, and then this guy, I'm pretty sure could be mercied in, on the first turn if you want to, but I do not want to. There he goes. Would've been really crummy if we missed out on these characters. Uh, I think that's what activates the elevator, I don't know. But, we're just gonna keep going. God, it's a good thing I went around and searched a bit because I can imagine that ruining a lot of people's genocides run. Uh, genocides run. Genocide runs if you uh, just take the elevator, assuming that like everything's deactivated. If you forgot about those enemies, then would it ruin the entire thing? Or is this what people meant when they said that the core and hotline counts the same area, so you don't have to fight those guys? I don't know, and I'd rather not find out. I'm just glad that I fought them, and hopefully there weren't any other branching paths that I missed, because it would be very unfortunate if I missed out on some enemies right at the last moment. 
So we're just gonna take the elevator and continue onward. Oh. Okay. That's where Metaton is, right? Oh, I was walking around and this is this leads to that's where the Metaton thing is. That place where I was up in the north. Oh, it was this thing. Somehow I got turned around and I missed the one branching path that led me to Metaton. Okay. Well, at least I know where I am, sort of. Kind of. Not really. Well, I do. I do know, so... That's where Metaton is. I think it's safe to save. It still says determination. Let's fight Metaton. My, my, so you finally arrived. After our first meeting, I realized something ghastly. You're not just a threat to monsters, but humanity as well. Oh my, that's an issue. You see, I can't be a star without an audience. And besides, there are some people I want to protect. Ha ha ha, eager as always, eh? But don't touch that dial, there's something for you haven't accounted for. As any true fan would know, I was first created as a human eradication robot. It was only after becoming a star that I was given a more photogenic body. However, those original functions have been never been fully removed. Come any closer and I'll be forced to show you my true form. Fine then. Ready, it's showtime. Oh no, it's a real fight. It's a real fight. And I'm using a new- oh. It's not a real fight. Guess you don't wanna join my fan club. Why would they give him a new suit if it's not a real fight? Whatever, I'm not complaining. Are we seriously already at the end of the genocide run? Like, I was expecting it to be quick because everyone dies and there's no more human interaction. Literally. But still. You know, when I was on my way up here, I just came to the conclusion that Azriel is a combination of Asgor and Toriel. Well, better late than never, I suppose. We're seriously here. We're already at the second castle. It's in use. Did it always say it was in use or it was broken? Saying it's in use is a lot more ominous, but back on this legendary pathway, probably the last time we're gonna see this. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. The genocide run was very, very short. It was... I don't know if it, it was what I was expecting, but like, I don't know, I thought there was going to be something more to it, like throughout the entire thing there would be some sort of mystery, but... I don't know. I feel like there was just... There should have been something more, but at the same time, what do I really expect? You kill everyone, so there is no one for you to interact with. There's no villainous team or anyone for you to interact with. Everyone in this game is a good guy, It's up except for Flowey. It's up to you to decide whether or not you want to be a good guy or not. Uh, the gate is up. I think it was down during the pacifist run, but now it's back up for the genocide run. He leaves them in the kitchen and the hallway. I don't think it said that originally. In fact, that was all in red text. Um, it's a golden flower. 
Nothing useful. What? Maybe because our characters lost their sense of humor? What? Howdy, human! You finally made it home! Remember when we used to play here? <laughs> Boy! Today's gonna be just as fun! Is Floey aware that he's Azriel? But he's lost all sense of humanity or monster manity or I don't know, I'm just a bit confused on or just is that an entirely different entity that we're speaking to and they think we're someone else? Uh, by the way, I don't have any room for food. I do have the pie with me still. I should probably go back and get that. A stove top. No chocolate. Okay. I'm gonna head back outside. Oh, there's Chloe's back. I remember when I first woke up here in the garden. I was so scared. I couldn't feel my arms or my legs. My entire body had turned into a flower. Mom! Dad! Somebody help me! I called out, but nobody came! I wish we could have brought you back to them during the end of the pacifist run. Um... What's the worst healing item I have? 22 HP... 21 HP... Heals HP. I assume the rest are all good, so... I'm gonna get rid of the astronaut food and take the butterscotch pie. Uh, just checking. 14 HP, okay, good thing I checked. I don't know why, I just thought the star face sounded like it wouldn't be all that helpful, so get back the astronaut food. And I guess that's it. Oh, wait, there's a... Wait a minute. Where do we get- oh wait, that's in the other room. I need to free up inventory for when we pick up the you-know-what. Um, I'll just put the pie back in here for a second, because I remember that we need to get the weapon and item. Weapon and- you know what I'm saying, right? Where you need to pick up some things first, these things right here. So heart-shaped lock inside the box, will you take it? Yes. The locket. You can feel it beating, like it's an actual heart. Right where it belongs. Interesting. We don't need it anymore and we can't really store any more things, so I'll just drop the cowboy hat. Sorry, Temmie. Knife inside the box. Will you take it? Is it always a knife? Yeah, it was. It was the real knife. Real knife, weapon attack 99, here we are. Before it said perfect for cutting plants or something. Not anymore. About time, Jesus. Get rid of the empty pan, empty gun. Really don't like that attacking item, so we're good. My drawing. Who's saying this? Is it the human or flowy? My bed. Why is some of it red, some isn't? Our clothes. His bed. I think it's our character. I think they've come to realize who they are. Um, we'll keep going. Room under renovations. Eventually, the king found me, crying in the garden. I explained what had happened to him. Then he held me. Human. He held me with tears in his eyes, saying, There, there, everything is going to be alright. He was so... emotional. But, for some reason, I didn't feel anything at all. Oh my god, what does it all mean? I'm terrified to read what this mirror says. It's gonna say something that'll make me chill. It's me, human. Or it will say the exact same thing it did back in Toriel's house. That's an anticlimactic end to the mirror saga. The entries are always the same. It's just a chair. 
It's a trophy. Number one nose nuzzle champs 98. Still has that sweater. We know who they are. Nothing useful. It's a king size bed. Macaroni art of a flower for King Dad. Huh. Get the pie back out. This is it. There's nothing left to do. I unlocked the chain. The date I came here. Who are we? I soon realized I didn't feel anything about anyone. My compassion had disappeared. And believe me, it's not like I was trying. I wasted weeks with that stupid king, vainly hoping I would feel something. But it became too much for me. I ran away from home. Eventually, I reached the ruins. Inside, I found her, human. I thought of all people, she could make me feel whole again. She failed. <laughs> You're talking about Toriel? I realized those two were useless. I became despondent. I just wanted to love someone. I just wanted to care about someone. Human, you might not believe this, but I decided it wasn't worth living anymore. Not in a world without love. Not in a world without you. So, I decided to follow you into the, in your footsteps. I would erase myself from existence. And you know what? I succeeded. But as I left this mortal coil, I started to feel apprehensive. If you don't have a soul, what happens when you... Something primal started to burn inside me. No, I thought, I don't want to die. Then I woke up. Like it was all just a bad dream. I was back at the garden. Back at my save point. Interested, I decided to experiment. Again and again, I brought myself to the edge of death. At any point, I could have let this world continue on without me. But as long as I was determined to live, I could go back. Amazing, isn't it, human? I was amazed too. At first, I used my powers for good. I became friends with everyone. I solved all their problems flawlessly. Their companionship was amusing. For a while. As time repeated, people proved themselves predictable. What would this person say if I gave them this? What would they do if I said this to them? Once you know the answer, that's it. That's all they are. It all started because I was curious. Curious what would happen if I killed them. I don't like this, I told myself. I'm just doing this because I have to know what happens. <laughs> what an excuse! You of all people must know how liberating it is to act this way. At least we're better than those sickos that stand around and watch it happen. Those pathetic people that want to see it, but are too weak to do it themselves. I bet someone like that's watching right now, aren't they? Wow. Not only is he speaking to the player, he's speaking to all of you watching. It's 
insane, and the only reason you would do the genocide run is because we've exhausted all our options, we made friends with everyone, we know what happens when we say this and do that. We killed everyone. Out of sheer curiosity. No other reason. We are truly soulless. Nowadays, even that's grown tiring. You understand, human. I've done everything this world has to offer. I've read every book. I've burned every book. I've won every game. I've lost every game. I've appeased everyone. I've killed everyone. Sets of numbers, lines of dialogue, I've seen them all. But you, you're different. I never could predict you, human. When I saw you in the ruins, I didn't recognize you. I thought I could frighten you, then steal your soul. I failed. And when I tried to say load my save file, it didn't work. Human, your determination. Somehow, it's even greater than mine! I just have one question for you, human. How did you get back to the ruins from here? Wait, I know. She must have taken you when she left. And decided to give you a proper burial, rather than... Hanging out in the basement forever. But, why then? What made you wake up? Did you hear me calling you? Oh my god, I just remembered something. Oh no. Oh my god. It doesn't matter now. I'm so tired of this human. I'm tired of it. Of all these people. I'm tired of all these places. I'm tired of being a flower. Human, there's just one thing left I want to do. Let's finish what we started. Let's free everyone. Then let's let them see what humanity is really like! That despite it all, this world is still kill or be killed. I just put it together. Oh my god. Then? Well, I had been entertaining a few ways to use that power. <laughs> But seeing you here changed my mind. Human, I think if you're around, just living in the surface world doesn't seem so bad. We don't even need to leave to get them this time. The king has six of them locked away. I've tried hundreds of ways to get him to show me them, but he just won't. Human, I know he'll do it for you. Why am I telling you all of this? Human, I said it before. Even after all this time, you're still the only one that understands me. You won't give me any worthless pity! Creatures like us wouldn't hesitate to kill each other if we got in each other's way. So that's... so that's... why... <laughs> What's this feeling? Why am I shaking? Hey, human, no hard feelings about back then, right? Hey, what are you doing? B back off! I... I've changed my mind about all this. This isn't a good idea anymore. Y you should go back, human. This place is fine the way it is. St stop making that creepy face! Dude, this isn't funny! You've got a sick sense of humor! Next time on Undertale...
the genocide finale. We're going to destroy the world. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.